pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The First Amendment of the United States Constitution says, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. According to the 2012-2013 Norfolk Public Schools Standard of Student Conduct, you have the right to salute the flag and recite the Pledge of Allegiance, remain quiet in the classroom should you elect not to participate in patriotic ceremonies, be treated fairly, free from intimidation, ridicule, and harassment because of your conviction. While many choose to say the Pledge of Allegiance during morning devotions, some do not. Ernest Holmes is one of those students. If I feel like I'm just in the mood and I want to stand up and I want to say it, then I'll say it. If not, I'll just sit there and be quiet, finish my work. Those who refuse to recite the pledge may include students who are of different religious beliefs, are less patriotic, or simply do not care. It's not like I don't get offended by it. It's just that with me being atheist, I feel like I have the right not to say it. But others disagree. How can you go to school and benefit from the people and the services that are provided in this nation if you don't want to even be known as being a part of this nation. Jasper Galang leads a Christian life group at Granby High School. He believes that reciting the Pledge of Allegiance, especially the Under God Clause, should be mandatory. Well, I think the Under God part is necessary and mandatory because this nation was built under God. The Under God Clause has sparked controversy over whether students should be forced to participate in the daily practice. Granby's principal, Ted Daughtry, understands different opinions than his own regarding the pledge. Personally, I feel that it, that clause is most appropriate because I am a Christian and I do believe in God and I think that without his assistance that um, we wouldn't be able to make it through a lot of the issues that we as individuals have to face or that our country has to face. But also, given, given that, I do realize that people have different religious beliefs and um, if they would like to omit that from their part of the pledge, I would understand that. But as an American, he encourages students to say the pledge every morning. I feel as a citizen of the United States, when the pledge, when you're asked to say the pledge, you should do that because you're reaping the benefits of everything that our country has to offer. However, Master Chief Petty Officer Michael Dyer, who runs the Naval Junior Reserve Officers Training Corps, also known as NJROTC program at Granby, has taken the side of our forefathers advocating our First Amendment rights. No, it should not be mandatory from the standpoint that as Americans we have freedom of speech and sometimes silence is our choice. Whether you agree with saying the pledge or believe that we should be able to remain silent, the Constitution grants us all the right to choose.